extremely careless and showed bad judgment. The American people have a binary choice here. They're going to choose Hillary Clinton, who has repeatedly lied, or they're going to choose Donald Trump. That is the choice we're left with. All the stuff that comes out about Hillary and her lies and her lying about lies is continued. And I would disagree with Alan because I don't think national security and cyber security and closely held secrets from the United States of America, I don't think that's a right-wing conspiracy. I think that that is in the interest of the American people to know exactly what Hillary Clinton was doing as, at her time as Secretary of State and what she could do as Commander-in-Chief, President of the United States. It's a fair question. All right. Well, obviously, we've got a lot to talk about continuing with this this hour, and we will do that. Uh, we also want to get your thoughts on Kaepernick. Of course, Donald Trump speaking out on the campaign trail against the NFL players' protest of the national anthem. Let's listen. We will stop apologizing for America, and we will start celebrating America. One country, under one constitution, saluting one American flag, and always saluting it. Colin Kaepernick kneeling once again last night during the national anthem at a preseason game, in case you missed it, here it is, along with teammate Eric Reed, Seattle Seahawks cornerback Jeremy Lane also sitting out in protest last night. Kaepernick now pledging to make a big donation to help community organizations this year. I am planning to take it a step further. I'm currently working uh, with organizations to be involved and in making sure that I'm actively in these communities uh, as well as donating the first million dollars I make this year to different organizations to help these communities and help these people. Tommy, I watched your Final Thought segments online. I know it's gotten a lot of hits. Uh, you have called him selfish and telling, uh, telling him if this country disgusts him so much, he should just go ahead and leave. Uh, but now he is trying to put this attention to good use. Your thoughts now? I'm happy to see what Colin Kaepernick is going to do in those communities. I hope that part of his message, though, will also be talking to youth in those communities and talking about how to properly interact with the police officer. He is vowed to speak to police officers about some of the racial injustices that he feels has been put upon these communities. I hope he'll do the same with those children. Um, I don't think wearing anti-police socks sends a good message. I don't think that he has shown that he's a positive role model, and I'll say this. I don't like the Obama administration. I am not going to like a Hillary Clinton administration, but I will still salute the flag and I still will sing the anthem because this is this country. It's right. symbolic of all of our triumphs and our pitfalls, and that's why I'm going to continue to salute okay, the flag. Okay, Alan, that sounds really everyone. good. I the Hillary Clinton Alan administration. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> uh, look, uh, had he not uh, protested the national anthem, the attention he's now getting and that he is giving a million dollars to various community groups maybe wouldn't be as prominent in the news cycle. Uh, and I, I, I saw what Tommy had to say as well, and I thought she, it was well stated that she stands up as well for the right to protest and for people's First Amendment rights. But let's not forget, we have had a Supreme Court case where you can even burn the American flag under protection of the First Amendment. And, you know, for white people to tell black people how they should be protesting is kind of rich, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I don't think no, it's I, our job uh, to do that. I'd like that. to interject. Alan, I don't think as a white person go, telling black people how to protest. Gotta leave it there. Tommy and Alan, thank you so much. Well, we are on Tropical Storm Watch heading into the holiday weekend after Ermine makes landfall as a hurricane early this morning.